I am an elven lord, and I decree Dell shocks. Okay, Dell. Well, you're about to get steamrolled. Oh wait, you already are. What an unfortunate series of events that is befalling Dell. So, when I last played High Elves for Third Age Shadow War, Dell was all like, "Yo, bro, I'ma come at you," and then I was like, "Yeah, come on, do it," and they did which I didn't expect them to. So now I'm whooping them all across Middle-earth and it's a beautiful, glorious thing. So we are sieging various sounds for right now. I'm not gonna go ahead and fight them because I want them to come out towards me and you guys saw what I could do to these damn dirty devilish people. I can destroy them and that is a glorious feeling when you know that you can utterly vanquish an entire nation of people. Oh man, I get a, I get a little warm and fuzzy every time I think about it. But it looks like I'm going to be getting, or I am going to begin something new. I'm going to phrase it or call it Surreal Weekend. And so, due to school starting back up, I know that many of you do not have time because you're all excellent students. And I know that you work hard. You do your best, make great grades, and so that you can get allowances or just get food to eat for the next day. That's awesome parenting to me. Anyway, anyway, I'm going to be calling it Surreal Weekend. So... Every weekend, you know, you, you just gotta get ready for that surreal weekend where I'm gonna be uploading all of my series and there's gonna be new series and I'm gonna be updating my old series. And every episode is gonna be at least 30 minutes long, which is awesome. So you guys are gonna be getting longer content and more content and it's gonna be on the weekends. And I mean, just things are going well. Oh, hello, what's uh, Grasgard? Ah, oh, Lindenkind, more like dead kind. Let's go introduce him to our arrows and swords and all of our evil things. Alright. Yeah, I find that I'm a lot more efficient in killing on my high elf campaign than I am on my corn one. Which is very strange because I kill just as many probably in both campaigns. But the elves, man, they are evil. You think the, the warriors of the north follow corn would be the most hardcore ones. But no, it is the high elves. So here we have a battle. I actually outnumbered them, <laughs> but they do have a talented general, Athala the Wrathful. He doesn't like to drink, wow, time to die. And he has silly beliefs, like he had the belief that he could beat me, but we're going to prove him wrong. So I will see you guys on the battlefield like I have so many times before. Here we go. Oh, they have no clue that I'm here right now, and that is a wonderful thought. Looks like Del's all like, oh, Metamelkin, you must be a psychopath. Look at you all by yourself with no army in sight. Yeah, so they think, but look at this. Look at this. Del Light Cavalry. They also have, let's see, Delsmen. They also have, uh, let's see, these barding herds of, over here and longbowmen. I mean, they're coming at me with a force, and then they have reinforcements coming my way, too. And of course, they have a lot of light cavalry, which could be a pain for my archers, but I'm not really too worried about that yet. Now, we will go ahead and send out my general to go fight them, or go fight their longbowmen, if I wanted to clarify. That way, we can dampen their archers a bit, and we can begin to fire at their cavalry very soon, but not quite yet. It's not quite that time. Now, I could have put some men down here, but that would have been a, too, a bit too far off, so I wasn't really interested in that. Hopefully this is their general, let's see. No, it's not. Or their captain, I guess I should clarify once again. There we go, we have charged in, we have killed their banner carrier, we have slain many of them. Now we will go ahead and let my archers begin to fire. Oh, looks like that won't be happening because they're not coming close enough for me to do so. General Metamokin, get out of there, friend. You're doing, he did quite well, though. He killed 5% in that first charge. Let's go back. Madam Elkin's like, <laughs> I've killed orcs, I've killed trolls, I've killed dwarves. They're no match for me, Del. So he, he charges once again. Not as good of a charge, but definitely enough to do a lot of damage to the longbowmen. So he's lost probably most of them. Alright, let's go ahead and zoom back out. Look at all the cavalry that they're bringing. That is immense. Let's go ahead and fire now. We're going to let all of my units begin to fire. Because we need to be careful. Oh, looks like they're actually heading towards my hidden units. Uh-oh. They might find them. Hopefully not. Let's go ahead and have my... Spearmen begin to charge out real quick. There we go. Okay. Let's begin to, to charge at all of their cavalry. Which, hey, why not? We probably should. 
They're going after my general from what I can see, but we're going to have my spearmen charge too. Because we need them to go hit their cavalry. Now I have a hidden unit over here that I need to move out. Same thing with my light infantry. This is going to be a fairly messy battle from the beginning, but it should ease up a bit later on. Alright, we're charging them at various points. We are going to be able to take them out, but man, this is going to be a fearsome battle. Definitely a fearsome battle. Alright, we need to go ahead and hit their cavalry from the rear over here with my spearmen. There we go. Or at, at least hit them from the side, which will suffice for the moment. Alright, let's go ahead and start taking out their bowmen and everything else very soon anyway. Alright, so my spearmen are beginning to charge in. We are breaking their light cavalry and man! Blood! Blood everywhere! Okay, so now we need to charge at their light cavalry who have pulled back and are beginning to fight my other units. My general needs to rally up for a moment and he's doing so. We've slain most of their cavalry, but man, they have done a number on me, which is unfortunate. Okay, let's try to rally up my cavalry real quick. So my Bjornings need to move up into the main battle. Let's see, these are my spearmen fighting here, a very messy battle. Alright, it's almost time to send in my swordsmen, but not quite yet. My archers are kind of staying where they're at. I'm going to let them fight where they're at right now. And we'll fix that later on, but I'm not too worried about their numbers at the moment. Now, we do need to start sending out my spearmen to engage in a further melee combat. Let's see. Let's, oh, wow, they actually did very well against the enemy uh, soldiers. Okay, so here's all of my cavalry. And we've, now, I know you guys may want me to zoom in, but guys, I can't do that all the time. Sometimes I do have to manage the battles no matter how well that I that I do because I, I well I, I need to keep a watch but I mean some of the fights here are very brief so it's not really a huge deal if you miss it or not plus there's always more battles so just don't fret don't worry your heads all is well okay we are moving up now we need to go ahead and have my cavalry hit them very soon all right now here's my light infantry all ready to fight them so let's go ahead and start pouring in now let's see I need my spearmen to pour forward once more. All of my cavalry is now charging at their longbowmen and everything else, which is nice. I mean, they did have a lot of cavalry, which was definitely giving me a bit of a problem. But looks like we are taking them out now, especially now that I have all of these soldiers just completely surrounding them. I mean, I've been able to envelop them very well. And as you can see here, now I need to have my own archers to stop firing, but we are doing very well. Alright, now we need to take out their Delsmen. My cavalry needs to go chase their longbowmen over here because they're running away and we cannot allow them. We will kill all of them if we have to. And, well, we, we don't have to. It's all optional, but we choose to kill them all. Alright, so now they're beginning to break. They are having a bad day. They're all like, oh no, we, we better flee. And I'm like, nah, not gonna happen. You die. Whoa, they have some cool units here. Sorry, Dell. Not gonna happen for too long. Alright, we've captured the enemy general. Ooh, yeah. Make him watch. That's kinda kinky. Just saying. Alright. What do we have over here? We have a few more of their units, and they're all routing and dying. So we've pretty much slain them all. Here's a group over here. That is. Oh, well, they're running away too, so let's see. I have my general chase them down. Who is left? We shouldn't really have... Uh-oh, I see someone back here. Way back here, though. What is this? What is this here? This... this group. Oh, okay. Nothing major. Yes. Alright, let's have my archers fire at them. You guys don't have to chase them down, but we will have the rest of my units chase down the fleeing units here. Because we need to eliminate every enemy army that we can. Because, well, we can. Metamelkin. I mean, uh, guys, that was a brief battle, but it was chaotic. I lost 20% of my men there, but with all of that cavalry, and they actually threw me off guard by just going completely to the side. I mean, my cavalry won, but it actually worked out quite well that I had so much cavalry. Alright, light cavalry. Go forth. Good work. Man, they're just mopping them up. No problem. This is is very bueno. 
Muy bueno. Good work, Heavy Infantry. So, if you want to survey the damage, I mean, it was a very brief battle. A lot of longbowmen and cavalry, not a lot of melee, but they lost 95% of their soldiers so far. We're still shooting at them down here somewhere. Yeah, see, they have 11 left. They are getting messed up. Or maybe we killed one of their... No, 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 there. there's two down, down here. Ah, here we go. Is he the only one who hasn't routed? Wait, yeah, yes he has. I forgot. I just clicked continue. I absolutely forgot about that. Now, I feel like we've forgotten one of their generals, like their named one. thought we may have killed him, but, but I guess not. Well, let's go take him out. And I guess that's pretty much it, though. We've slain them, and if you guys want to see the bodies, well, here it is. My armies are victorious once again. Oof, what a rainy, bloody day. All right, well, let's go ahead and quit this. Clear victory. They have 85 men remaining. I lost 359, and Metamelkin did quite well. He killed over 200, and he lost quite a few of his own bodyguard. And he actually killed the most. Impressive, and he captured over 100. All right, back we go. Prisoners captured. Well, what do I do with them? I'm gonna ransom them. And am I fighting another battle? I might. Yeah, it looks like I am. Looks like they have another army, but thankfully, what? He's fighting me. Uh. All right. If he wants to, let's go fight him. We're back once again. Um, all right. I guess we get to fight this battle because. I've never had one unit just try to fight me like this. That's very strange. I guess they feel as though they have to defend their city to, to the last man. Which is absolutely fine. I have no problem with giving them what they want here. It's really, I don't mind. I, I just, sure guys. It, it actually helps that I do take them out now. And I will be using my Bjornings when they get close. Because, well, these guys are completely expendable. They're not elves, so. Expendable. That's what they are. And they're just walking forth. They're like, screw it, we're dead anyway. I mean, they could have fled, but whatever. I guess they're brave or stupid. They're one of the two, or both. Bravely stupid, stupidly brave. Whichever one you want to call them, that's what they are. If only the rain turned to arrows too and just rained... Wait, <laughs> I guess it almost is like that. Great. Alright, let's have them get, get a bit closer, then we'll charge them. Or charge at them with my Bjornings. I guess we'll do that now. Okay. Let's go ahead. Alright, good. They're firing. Now let's go ahead and have my archers move back. Run away. Here comes the Bjornings. They're charging. Same thing with my general. So that was a pretty much simultaneous charge. Oh boy. That was dirty. That was very dirty. Like Alright, let's move back because we need to recharge them because uh, I don't really feel like waiting in this minor battle. I, I will say that I do like how the Delish men look. Now, they are probably the closest to what the, outside of the ha the Hada Dream, they are probably the closest to the vanilla game, but they did a very good job. Oh, how dare you! Kill him now! They did a very, oh, wow, you are swinging fast. You must have like a frenzy spell or something. Jeez. There we go. Ha 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 ha! Chop from behind. Did we kill them all? Oh, they're not all dead yet. And it seems like we actually did charge right through them. Yeah, so, anyway, what I was saying was that basically, even though they are the closest to the vanilla game in terms of looks, the, the team did a very good job in actually making them unique. And I really do like how Dell looks. And of course, we're not gonna stop here. We're gonna take them all out, which won't take very long. I mean, let's see, there's five left. There's, oh, still five left, okay. Uh-huh, that's gonna lower now. Four, three, two, and is he the one? No, no, there's, all right, one. All right, just chop him up. Bam, and he's gone. So I lost 1% of my men, but we did absolutely eliminate one unit, which is great. I mean, I probably could have even killed them just with just my general, but they were getting really close to my archers. But yeah, so I lost 14, and they lost all 152. My general killed 41. My archers really didn't kill that many. Oh, well, meh, yeah. 
Anyway, back we go. Prisoners captured. Ransom. Alright, they went for it. Don't care. I'm taking their city now. The dwarves want to speak to me. You better be my little boy. My, my little dwarf boy. You better listen to me. Yeah, so we haven't fought Sauron yet. I don't, I don't even know where Sauron is. We'll find him eventually, but not right now. I need to watch out for the dwarves because they could just hit me out of nowhere. They can actually be a threat if they want to. Not that they are. Whoa, we have a full stack here. He's rather old. He's probably one of their older generals. Not as old as mine, but fairly old. Then we have Lindenkind, who's very young, and he's a general on their side. And they have a lot of soldiers here, and they could probably do a bit of damage to me. I need, I need to be careful with that. Let's see. What was I doing? Ah, we have one unit here. Not too worried about one unit. Let's see. Glorfindel did quite well. He won. Let's see. Dell has four more turns, and then we take out their faction heir, Lord Bane the Gambler. Yeah, he's definitely gambling here. Let's see. They have some Athala Rangers, which are very cool. Very cool looking. I like them. Too bad they must die. And they have a bunch of decent units, but of course they're going to lose more with every turn that they have me here. Alright, so basically I guess what I was doing was go I was going to bring Elrond down, but he's running out of men big time. Now can I recruit? There are no mercenaries here. Really? Well, that's a damn shame. Alright, let's go ahead and move Nurian into Edibor. Edibor? Where are you? Let me click you. Damn it, Edibor. Why do you vex me? You're vexing me. Oh, we. I guess we did make it in. Okay, never mind. We can actually retrain some of our units here, which is quite nice. Alright, let's go ahead and build some stuff here. Very great. Uh, there's, there's no growth, not that we need to anymore. Um, I guess I'm rallying up a force here. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> it's going to be a mostly infantry force right off, right off the bat. That's not a problem. Yeah, see, it takes so many turns to get my units out here. I'm definitely going to have to use some type of sub mod. I'm not going to be using the Baron Samedi one just because I feel as though it's a bit... What's the word for it? What is the phrase for it? It's a bit buggy and I don't even believe that he has updated it to the current version, so it's not really a huge deal. But yeah, so we are moving quite a few units up here. I'm making a lot of gold now. What the heck? I'm doing quite well in my gold making capabilities all right so let's make some more units then okay I can always use more units that's the thing is that there probably will not ever come at a time when I will not need more units I just have to constantly make more and more and more so that I can try to continually fight on these on these front on these front lines because I mean I've been having so many years of war and so you always need more men when that happens obviously as you can see, let's go ahead and start retraining things here, I suppose. Practice range, yeah, we'll we'll build that because we need units. Um, what about over here? We can't build too much yet for, for some reason here. Don't know why, we should be able to. We have the same culture, I believe, or do we? Or do we? We do. Okay, good. I knew it. Don't, don't doubt me. So we have Eskodov. I have an army here. I can't recruit any units yet. Artist Studio will build that. I need to get some units up here so that I, I can fight them. Now, I could probably leave my Bjornings here and just go forth. Bjornings, do you, would you like to stay? I guess you do. All right, we'll let you build that. Okay, glad we are agreed. Actually, no, we, we need to wait here because they're not gonna be too happy with that. All right, well, armies are almost ready to move on. Let's see, I'll let you have these. Might as well. All right, so now we have another army. I don't really like him. No, we're not going to use him. He's he's kind of lame looking. All right, let's see. We've got Asgard. Uh -huh, got a lot of turns, and we'll probably be fought there very soon. All right, so I'm taking most of Dell's cities, and it looks like I will have to fight at Grasgard, which is a shame, but we will handle them promptly. Ooh. Well... Oh boy, this is gonna be a na- oh, 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 what is with all the golden chevrons? Holy cow, this is a veteran army. I mean, this must have been a force that they used to go fight Rune. Which I'm playing in the last days of the Third Age, so check that out if you have not. <laughs> Blight and advertising, yeah! Alright, so I have to fight them now. Great. And then I have to fight Linkine. Guys. This might be one of the tougher battles that I fought, but, you know, Valen, Yannin, the, the Cruel, feels ready, so let's do it. So this is one of my more ridiculous battles, and I really have no clue how it may go, because, well, as you can see, 
They have a lot. I have a lot of cavalry and archers, but they have a lot of pretty much everything else. A lot of melee, so that can be rather vexing for me to have to deal with that. Um, we will be getting a lot of shots off. We should be able to kill quite a few. That won't be a problem, but man, I really don't know how this will go. I have cavalry. Awesome, but I have a bit too much of it. You know, I just kind of like stopped caring about about the composition of my armies, and I just kind of went for it. So I really don't know how this may go, or may not go, for that matter. We shall see. Let's go ahead and use this real quick. Da da da. There we go. It's raining hard. Three percent of their men are dead already. Their river men are just standing there. So I guess they have to wait for the enemy reinforcements to come by. Which is absolutely fine, because, well, that gives us time to fire at them. Now, I need to go ahead and have my generals probably go after their own... Eh, we'll save it. We will save it. Screw them. We don't need to fight them yet on their terms. We'll fight them on our terms, which is preferably at range while I get to pe uh, pepper them and shoot them with arrows. We must act and hold this turn of events. Yeah, tell me about it, man. We've got a lot to fight. We just... There is no end to what we have to fight, good friends. There is no end. Alright, let's go after their Rovanian Riders. Let's shoot them a little bit, because I don't like them very much. Let's see, Dell Light Cavalry. We can go after them as well, if we so choose to. Well, I guess we don't choose to quite yet. Alright, we're not going to charge quite yet. Move, move away, go. Flee, flee from me now. Alright, so there's our light cavalry, which we will now charge at. Now? Alright, I guess we need to go ahead and start sending in my melee now before they all get here. Because there's a lot of them. So, we're going to fight their light cavalry. Let's see, they have a lot of horse guards and things like that, so we need to go fight them too. There's a lot of nastiness that's going to be going on here. I have a lot of archers, so I'm not too worried ab about it, but uh, yeah. This is gonna be really gross. Hope you guys don't mind if seeing gross things, cause this is gonna be nasty. No, really, it's gonna be messed up. Do you not see all of these units? Holy cow. All right, let's go hit them from behind with all of my freaking cavalry, man. This is gonna be ridiculous. Let's fight their general now. All right, let's get the rest of my shiny cavalry to hit them from the rear as, as well. Let's see, we have some spearmen over here, we have some nasty people over here. Um, we're hitting them from behind, we're hitting them from the front. Oh dear goodness, the things that I'm saying. Wunderbar, okay. We're still pressing forward, we are beating them in pitched combat, which is pretty fantastic. Um, let's go ahead and charge at their swordsmen, because hey, screw their swordsmen, I don't like them very much. Let's see, we've almost killed their general, at, we are winning this pitched battle here. Which is excellent. We need to take care of their uh, everything else, to be quite blunt with you. Actually, my swordsmen are fighting valiantly. Here comes the rest of their friends, who are promptly moving towards me. Alright, we are charging at their archers right now. We need to go after their horse guards, which is what we will be doing right now, like I said. Alright, we have another fresh unit who needs to go fight. We will send them... I suppose we will send them towards the middle. Yes! Yes, that is what we are doing. I was going to hope to end the battle before they manage to reach me, but it looks like they're going to be reaching me very soon. Okay. Let's begin to charge at them from the rear. Oh no, they have a lot of spearmen here. Okay. Let's move out my soldiers here. Let's do a, con a concentrated charge right for them over here. There we go. We're going to do a concentrated charge like I said right at their center mass in just a moment here we go okay looks like their spearmen are still fighting me I don't like that very much but we do have to fight them alright we have broken them largely on this side their range is gonna be hitting me very soon we are killing all of their archers from the first army the first army is pretty much dead outside of a bunch of nasty people who want to hurt me so we need to watch out for that alright let's go ahead and get my cavalry back because we have slain most of their soldiers. We need to go ahead and let my melee keep finishing th them off. Let's see, they have died largely, except my swordsmen on this end are having a very tough time. We need to go ahead and let my archers begin to fire once more, and that will profit us the most. 
where we were able to do more damage. Alright, let's move out my cavalry over here. And I'm going to need pretty much all of my men to fight this battle because holy cow. What a battle this is going to be. Um, just I cannot even begin to tell you how dis how disgusting this all is. Just with all the bloodshed and the killing and the nastiness. Alright, we are breaking them here. We, we just need to finish breaking them here. And then we can go ahead and help them out. Now, my archers are going to be able to join them in melee, but I'm going to wait for them to finish shooting everything that they that they can. They've lost 37% of their men, but they have a fresh army coming right towards me. And as you can see here, they even have javelins. And javelins are nasty business. They kill a lot of my men because they, I believe, have armor piercing. So we need to finish them off here. We need to charge right through. Um, my swordsmen are not going to be able to win here if they do not have help. So we are charging right through them now. My spearmen are all, all on their lonesome, which is terrible. Um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and have my generals charge forth. In addition to all of my cavalry, we're going to send them all in right from the very start. Why? Because we need to break them right now. And that's what we are going to do. So we are going to send all of my cavalry in so that we can charge and hit them and hopefully break them. That is our goal. That is what we are doing. Here we go. Let's see how this all turns out. My spearmen are having a very tough time. Okay. Have we have we won here? We have not won here. We are going to push through now and go help out my men on the right flank. We need to go ahead and use these M Ladgers riders too. Now you know things are very grave when I'm sending in my light cavalry. That's not a good sign. Okay, so we are pressing through. This is a gigantic cavalry battle. I'm going to be losing a lot everywhere, but I mean, I can't help that. This, this battle is too grand in scale. There's not really anything that I can do. Let's see, they have some rivermen here. I'm not going to be fighting them quite yet. My melee is definitely getting beat up. We have hit them on so many fronts. We have hurt them on so many fronts. It's a wonderful thing. Okay, let's pull back now because we don't want to lose any of our generals because I have some talented ge uh, generals here. All right, let's go ahead and have all of my infantry, or sorry, my uh, range begin to fire. We need, we do need to hit them here. Let's see, they do have some light cavalry that's coming to charge at me right now. They're going to manage to hit my archers, but I don't know how effective they, they will actually be, which is good. Let's see. Let me go ahead and move out some more of my cavalry. Let's charge them here and here. Generals, go help out in just a moment. We need to break them and help out my swordsmen. Let's see, we actually are beating back their cavalry here. My Imladris, uh riders are having a tough time, but they need to move on out. They are not meant to fight in a pitched battle, in a long battle. That's basically what the, what that means. Um. Okay, so we, we need to go ahead and charge at them from over here with all of my units. Yeah, so I mean, this is by by far one of my longer battles because I have never fought a battle with such an odd army composition, like I keep saying. And so, my archers are doing a lot of damage. I should probably use them as melee, but I'm not yet, just because that was my choice to not do that. Alright, we need to go ahead and have my archers hit them. Alright. We're going to send in my archers as melee now. Yes, they have. Okay, now we need to go ahead and charge these Dell swordsmen. And we're going to charge them from behind for the most part. Here we go. They have lost 73% of their men. They are now broken. They are slowly beginning to break, and that is swinging in my favor now. Now let's get my generals out of here. They need to reunite in number so that we can once again charge and do immense damage to my foes. So let's do that now. Let's see. The Dell Swordsmen are still hitting my M. Ladgers Riders, which, which means I'm going to go ahead and start sending in some of my archers to fire at those Dell Swordsmen to help them out. My melee is having a tough time. Let's see. My Spearmen are now back, which is great. Okay, so we have lined up. We are getting ready. Let's go ahead and start charging in and hitting their Longbowmen and everything that they have. Alright, we are getting closer to a victory, but we're not quite there yet. We, we are edging there. We still have a lot of killing, of slaughter, of... I mean, this is going to be by far probably one of my favorite battles because I've never been challenged like this. I mean, well, I mean, I have been challenged, but 
this is just great. I've never lost so many elves. I've lost 29% and just... I don't know how to, to put it in the right terms, but man, this is a fun battle. Del was definitely a great choice to, to fight. Just because they're really easy to kill, I guess. I don't know. Maybe that's why. Okay, so I've killed Bjorn the Brave. He is now gone. We've hit their swordsmen from the rear. We need to move back now before I lose my generals because they are getting beat up here. Alright, let's charge again at their Dell swordsmen. Let's see, we've killed most of their Dell swordsmen here. Alright, let's have my Enlagers Riders go chase after their rivermen now that they're all beginning to break. As you can see, they're all beginning to break and we have won. They are routing, they are fleeing everywhere. Alright, let's go ahead and have my cavalry go after various units here. Because we need them all dead. I want them all dead for trying to kill me. How dare they? How dare they try to live? I do not permit this. Alright, well guys. That pretty much finishes up that battle. Lindenkind is dead too. So both enemy generals are now dead. We are going to chase after them. Oh no, no, no. You, you guys can all watch me kill them. No problem. Yeah, that's right. You're all going to die. But, but guys, I mean, look at the scope of this battle. I lost 30% of my men. They have 4% of their men left. And look at the bodies here. Look at this carnage. Just constant killing. My cavalry managed to win that, thankfully. We were able to just simply overwhelm them because, thankfully, they, they really didn't have too many spearmen. And their swordsmen died in great droves, in great amounts. Here, I lost quite a few, but holy cow. Just constant killing everywhere. Alright, we need to chase down all that we can. All that's close to us. They have 97% of their men left. Not a problem. So guys, anyway. Another great battle. I just Let's just take a, a quick look just because it's so chaotic. Man, what are you doing? Are, are you dead? Oh, he's, he's dead, but he's doing a really cool pose in death. He's like, I knew we would win! Hooray! So I will die this way! And they're just kind of like, yeah, um, all right, cool. We didn't die, so what else? Uh, look at these swordsmen just bloodied up. That is an excellent sight. So I guess I could leave this battle on this note. Just my elves standing in probably over 2,000 dead Delsman bodies just everywhere. We fought all over this damn map. Just once more, let's, let's look. Let's take a nice look. Just... Oh man, what a fun battle. So many dead, delish men. I just cannot believe how many died here. That is crazy, Jess. Alright, here's my spearmen and swordsmen all mixed in one place. The enemy a heroic victory. I this lost 452. Of yeah. Of yeah, I know. I know. Both of their generals are dead. I've slain them all. Look at this. Let's see. My generals did pretty well. My archers did very well. My swordsmen here. They lost almost all of their men. Okay. And they killed over 400. My spearmen killed over 200. My archers, 100. My cavalry all did very well. I mean, what an immense and monumental battle that was. Oh, boy. My spearmen over 100. Just death everywhere. All right, guys. I'll see you back on the campaign map. Okay, friends, that will be the end of this episode. I really hope you enjoyed it because it was a lot of fun. Now, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I really value all of your support, so make sure that you make it known. Anyway, we've captured quite a few. Let's ransom them. Oh, they actually said yes. That's that's a shame. But we did manage to capture their settlement here. That was a heroic victory. Now, before I end, I will let this turn play out. So let's see what, what the dwarves, and now these sylvan elves are trying something. They better not be trying to bribe it. I'll be very bothered. Go away. Come on. There's Mordor, then Harad, then Rune, then here we have the end of that turn. Alright guys, I will see you later. Okay.